this video is for guys that um that lifted they um trucks or maybe cars this may go for cars too but um i know for sure that when you lift a truck for four inches six inch lift kit 12 inch lift kit no matter how how you lift the truck you're gonna change the the pinion angle on the drive shaft so today to cut down on the little vibration when you're going high speeds and you change the gear ratio and you done did all that to help with that you may want to put a dry shaft spacer to um get the pinion angle uh back how it once was like close to factory that way to cut down on them uh, high speed uh vibrations so what i'm gonna do is um unbolt the dry shaft i got it choked ch chalked off with the more uh, concrete blocks one down there one up there and then i got my mustang right there to catch it on the rebound if it was to roll back but i don't think it will and uh like i said i'm gonna take the dry shaft apart put this in and that'll be it so um y'all stay tuned and i'll show you guys what it looked like once it's in all right you guys i'm back just put the dry shaft spacer in let me show you guys what i had turned out all right as you can see the spacer spaced it out um this is a three a three and a quarter inch spacer it spaced it out back here in order to get the pinion angle close to straight again like factory and it did that it was spaced out at least about two inches up here and it done came in uh three quarters of an inch so that helped that's gonna help with the vibration with the vibrations and all that so um yeah man um oh yeah one more thing um when you get this kit you can get them off of uh plenty of aftermarket websites but you can uh get it i got mine off of ebay that's why i got it the last time my last truck i got it off of ebay and uh i spent the uh, 70 70 dollars for it and they come with the uh the longer the longer torque bolt that goes through to connect to connect that so you have a proper connection it come with longer torque bolts and all that so you can get yours off of ebay uh today um whatever truck you have if it's a dodge or a chevy or a ford you can get you uh the dry shaft spacer for it and i recommend this for uh lifted trucks like like look how high i went you know i stacked the block on top of a block you know to get the, the height that i want so when you do all that and then you put a big space on the front it's going to change this and if you don't do this then it's going to cause some problems you know in your your transmission and your drive your your, your transmission and and you may even possibly uh damage the uh the yoke um or the dry shaft itself so it's just best just to you know just when when everybody when y'all lift these trucks um put money to the side where you can change everything else out that comes with doing a lift kit because you, you can't just throw a lift kit on a truck and then and then think you know okay i'm good now you know a lot more comes comes with it you know just like uh when you get with when you marry somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody it's not just okay i got a girlfriend now it's not just that you know what i'm saying now you got to spend money you got to give your time you know you got to listen to this person you know it's, a lot comes with with it so when you order on um, these lift kits, they come with, with most of everything, but they at the same time, they don't. Because some of these companies want you to spend more money. And depending on what you got going, you may or may not have to get the extra things. But this here, this is a most definite need if you lift a truck or, or maybe even a car. You may need these. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, that's going to bring an end to the video. I uh, just wanted to make this video for you guys, man, for my guys that maybe think about getting a dry shaft spacer. Hopefully this video help, helped you. 
But uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, Christmas, like a couple days away. Merry Christmas to everybody, and I'll see you guys soon. All right? Peace.